Hello. Today is a bit of a celebration, maybe an anti-celebration, if you will. Uh, well, a uh, celebration in the sense of pagan rituals, a little witchcraft, a little Satan worshiping, a little bit of tinctures and devil brews. And what is it that we're celebrating or counter-celebrating? And what is St. Patrick's Day? A load of... A load of shit. Lots of binge drinking. V people vomiting up neon green in the fucking... In the tub the next morning and then praying to the porcelain sink. That's... Green cupcakes, green beer, green fucking rivers. Uh... Food coloring up the wazoo, poisoning all the fish. Now... What else does St. Patrick's Day represent? Nah. The, uh... How about try the colonization of, of Ireland? The exploitation of all of the farmers and workers that were... that were otherwise sustaining their own lives and cooking for themselves, eating, their, eating fine food for themselves, and extinguishment of all pagan rituals, all animus behavior, all, all stone worship, all owl worship, all raven worship, and, uh, well, I'm here for a special fuck St. Patrick's Day recipe, in honor, I'll be serving up this tincture. And what is this tincture? What is the tincture? The tincture is a bit of witchcraft. It's, it's a potion, basically. And it has a bunch of leaves in it. It's got kava leaves. What else? Kava yet. It's very chatty and social. And Damiana. And Damiana is very mild and moderate. And it's, a, it's a... It's a chilled out kind of drink. Uh, there's nettle. Nettle's very good for anti-anxiety and there's St. John's Wort. Anti-depression. Age-old recipes. Thousands. Lands. Elves. I'm gonna be pouring this straining it and ingesting its fluids. Kerchief to break up any spills you might make. Get good ritual music on. Mm. And these leaves are just infused. But you don't need those, you need the tincture.
Satan. 